Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to reading for uh, January 2024. Uh, we're just going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this card that says fear of success, and it says um, concern that um, achieving success will come at the cost of something else you value. And then it says try something new. If you have exhausted everything within your power to make something work and it still doesn't, it's time to move on. Look for um, the takeaways from this lesson that will improve your chances of success. So uh, this card says beating a dead horse, by the way. So I feel that some of you, I already feel like you let go of something <laughs> is kind of like what's going on here. Um, even the King of Pentacles is a card of just convention. It's a card of doing things the same way. You know, he it, he is the card of doing the same thing, um, you know, kind of doing things the same way over and over and over again. Uh, it's not really like a bad thing because what, you know, what he is doing works. Um, he is, it's like if you had a job and you just did what works, you'd be getting results, you'd be getting good results, but it's like sometimes we need to innovate. Sometimes we need to try new things um, so that we can be more successful. So really sometimes, I, it's not always true, but sometimes I look at the King of Pentacles as like the 80-20 rule, but it's not like the 80-20 rule. It's a different 80-20 rule, which is, you know, 80% of the time, do what works. 20% of the time, try something new in any area of your life that you're trying to improve. And I feel that will lead to a lot of improvements, Gemini. So that's what I'd be focusing on here. It looks to me like you could be, you know, there's like a little bit of love here, but I also feel that you could be a little bit focused on work or m more focused on work, I should say, or you are more focused on uh, increasing your finances or doing something to stabilize your finances. Uh, I say it all the time. I personally believe that we are in a time of resources and so I feel you're very focused on increasing your resources or, or doing something that, you know, uh, protects your resources or doing something that uh, can bring more resources into your life. It definitely seems to me like you are uh, very, very focused on that with this energy. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords here. The Ace of Swords is a victory or a success. So I do feel like there could be a victory or success coming in for you with the Ace of Swords. Um, I also feel like it's almost like you're getting something you want because you have this in the sun. You know, the sun is the best card in the tarot, but the sun usually shines a light on something that we need to pay attention to. And we're gonna come back to the sun again, but that's what I feel like the Ace of Swords is saying is that you've been waiting for a truth on like what to work on in work or business or career or however you make money, even if you're retired, right? Maybe you're looking for investments or you know whatever the case may be. And so I do feel like there is, is this really a truth that's being revealed? I would say no, I, I feel it's more like information that's being revealed. And so let's put it that way, right? Uh, it, it's almost like this first row is saying that you've been beating a dead horse. You've been trying the same thing over and over and over again. And it's almost like you're discovering a new path, but it's through information that's being revealed. With the sun, it's important that we follow our inspirations, but also our attention. The sun is kind of subtle. It, it's not subtle, but in life, the energy of the sun, the tarot, it can sometimes be that we just, um, you know, we develop a new interest. What was that? A Knight of Swords. Time. Yeah, I would move towards any new interest that you have very quickly. <laughs> uh, but with the sun, the sun shines a light on our attention, but um, it, it's it's not always connected. You know, you could um, ha your attention could tell you to go watch a movie. You watch the movie, and the movie could be the thing that gives you the details you need to be successful in doing whatever it is you're doing. So I know that was a mouthful, but. It's like some of you, I feel, need to pay attention to, um, you know, kind of like where your attention is going. Because I feel like your attention is trying to lead you towards success. And with the King of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is out with the old, in with the new. You have two aces here. Two aces have been coming up quite a bit. Uh, almost in the 2024 yearly readings I did, almost every single person had two aces in their reading, which is crazy. All 12 signs, practically. I think there was like one or two that didn't have two aces, at least. Some people had three. So it seems to me like there are a lot of new beginnings uh, being created here. Again, it's an eight-year 2024. I keep telling everyone I would be focusing on efficiency, meaning the things the uh, things that you put work and energy into, Whether it doesn't matter what it is, business, love, spirituality, whatever you need to make sure that you get that return of energy, right? Eight is a figure eight, which is infinity. So you need to make sure that of that. You also need to make sure to build things that are longer term as well. You know, I, I did a video where I was talking to people, telling them that in 2024, one of my main focuses is gonna be evergreen content, like creating things that last a lot longer. And so whatever that means for you, it's like, can you create routines, systems, um, you know, business ideas, whatever, that last longer? I would be focusing on that evergreen type stuff. 
With the Ace of Swords, you have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is planting seeds in a new direction and also creating more balance in your life. Ace of Swords is a card of balance. With the Sun, you have the Eight of Pentacles, which I'll show you here. You actually have it twice right here. Eight of Pentacles can represent, um, you know, receiving... It, it's material success on the horizon, but, you know, it kind of represents receiving, like, money or earnings for wor work that you've done in the past. So that could be true for a lot of you as well. Uh, next, in the area of the unexpected, you have this quieting the mind card and this uncharted sea card. I think it would be a great time for you to quiet your mind. I feel it would be a great time for you to uh, listen to your inner voice and for you to uh, maybe step off into uncharted territory or uncharted seas. Um, I really feel there are gonna be a lot of benefits in the unknown for you, uh, Gemini. I think you're definitely one of the signs that um, could would benefit from stepping into the unknown, meaning if you don't know how to do something, you'll learn about it. <laughs> and it should be something that is gonna move your life forward. So it doesn't matter like what you are trying to improve upon, but I would like pick one thing that you want to improve this year, 2024, and I would just start learning about it. I would just step into the unknown, experiment with it, play around with it, see how things go. You literally have this card that says treasures hidden in the shadows <laughs> at the end. It's coming up in the area of the good stuff. So it's going to be good no matter what. But you know, the whole entire thing is basically saying you need to, the whole reading is saying stepping into the unknown is going to lead to treasure or something else. You have the Four of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel you've had a lot of disappointing situations just in life in general. And some of you are wondering if you should take a risk again. That's what I'm hearing right here. You have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is like wanting to win at all cost. But, um, you know, personally, I always read the Five of Swords as either needing to take a risk or thinking about taking some sort of risk in your life. Uh, the reason it represents risk, because think about it. If you are thinking about starting something, but if you're stopping yourself from starting it because you want to know that it's going to be successful, five of swords, winning at all costs, you, when you are in that energy of, I need to know that this is going to work before I do it, then you are basically trying to win at all costs, kind of, right? And so really the solution to the five of swords is that we need to take some sort of risk. For you, I don't even think it's a risk. I think you just have to put a little bit of work into something new and it will maybe lead to the 10 of pentacles. The other thing is, is it, like I just said, this reading is giving me eight energy. It's giving me that, um, you know, it's giving me that permanent type of energy. King of Pentacles, Hierophant, both cards of kind of creating something that lasts forever, something that is more permanent, something that is more traditional. Ten of Pentacles is building, leaving a legacy. You don't do that overnight. You do that for the rest of your life. So, you know, I feel that you are, you know, trying to build something permanent or you're trying to build something that's permanently successful. Um, and, you know, that's what you're probably working towards here. And I would keep working towards it. Clearly, you're going to hit your goal. You know, Empress to the Nine of Cups here. Uh, this is a lot of, of abundance, a lot of success coming in for you. So let's see. Uh, with the Four of Cups, you have two cards, King of Swords and the Two of Swords. King of Swords is a card of knowledge and wisdom, like knowing how to do something. Two of Swords is being stuck in a stalemate, but all you have to do is try something new. <laughs> Literally, the solution to the Two of Swords is stepping into uncharted territory. The lady is normally sitting there. She's crossing the swords over her heart, but there's a new island behind her on the Two of Swords. It just says you just have to move in a new direction. With the um, Five of Swords, what do you know? Right here. Uh, Emperor and Empress definitely could be a divine counterpart coming in for you. It's funny that I said that this might not be a love reading and that it's more focused on your finances, but um, you know what? Isn't that always the way? right? Um, I, I, I can't tell you how many times over the years um, I've had people say to me that they've gone through a breakup, for example, and um, their money improves. And they say, why is that? And I'm like, because the breakup hurt more. <laughs> you're, you're more focused on the breakup. You remove your focus from the money. And so then your money improves because you're not focusing on it, on it anymore. You're focused on something else. Uh, I think the opposite is also true. It's like sometimes we can be more focused on our money and we can be working and you know, all that other stuff. And then love shows up. And you know that could be what's going on here is that because you're not really focusing on it, maybe you're more focused on increasing your stability or um, that's what it looks like to me at least. It looks like to me you're focused on increasing stability or long-term stability, building something long-term. Um, that, that could be why you're attracting a soulmate or like a divine counterpart. With the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is being spoiled for choice. 
I feel like everyone needs to stay open to all the possibilities of how to do something right now. So it's like whatever you're trying to do, if you're like building a business or you know building something new in your life, just stay open to all the possibilities and you'll be successful. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this card that says, take time to breathe out. Yes, take time to heal. You have this card that says, adjustments are required. Yeah, uh, pretty much anything. I say this to everyone, that anything that we're trying to do right now, the way that we think we're gonna do it is probably not gonna be the way that we do it. So if you're trying to accomplish something important or accomplish a specific goal, I would stay flexible. I don't really see you having a problem with that though, Gemini. So, you know, just be your Gemini self, you'll be fine. You have the four of wands. Four of wands, of course, can be a card of marriage. If you meet a person, <laughs> definitely there could be marriage here. You have the uh, Hierophant as well. So, and the Ten of Pentacles. To me, the Ten of Pentacles is the best love card in the deck. So, you know, Ten of Pentacles is much better than, you know, any of the other love cards. It's like building and leaving a legacy. It's much, much more than just love. So, you know, there could be a really solid connection. Four of Wands is also the card of freedom. So whatever you're working on uh, in your life will probably be bringing in more freedom or at least it should. So I would be focusing on that. You have the Empress. Again, uh, this could be you being very attractive at this time. So again, if you're looking for an emperor, I would get out there. I would go meet new people. The Empress could also be can also be a card of abundance or having a harvest. So I feel like there could be a lot of abundant opportunity coming in for you at this time. And uh, this could be opportunity for basically anything. You could be improving your finances. You could be making more money. Um, but I would be looking for opportunities that you can nurture. Uh, with the Empress. So, you know, I think that with all the energy we have in Taurus as well, and you have Taurus energy here, King of Pentacles, Hierophant, we need to be looking for opportunities that we really can take care of, nurture. You know, I think of it like a garden. You know, so if you're looking for a new job, can you find one that you want to nurture? Can you find a career, a job, a business that you actually want to take care of? Same thing with a relationship. Can you find one where you have the energy to nurture it, right? And vice versa, the other side should also be doing their part too. So, you know, that's what I'd be focusing on here. Uh, you have the Eight of Pentacles again. Eight of Pentacles tells me your hard work is paying off. It's also a card of preparation as well. And, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles, it's a card of mastering a craft. So, I, you know, it's a card of apprenticeship. And you also have the Hierophant right next to it. And the Hierophant, he has three levels to his crown, which represent initiation, apprenticeship, and mastery. So it's almost like you are very focused on mastering your craft or mastering a craft that uh, improves your finances for the long term or um, is something that's more sustainable, you know, I would say. So I feel like you're very much focused on building something su sustainable. With the four wands, are you kidding? You have the Hierophant. <laughs> Again, like uh, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. You could be attracting a Taurus. Could also be an Aries. Could be a Leo. You, you, I mean, you know, it could be any sign. This is a general reading. But uh, I feel like you could be attracting a person who you will marry. Uh, with the Taurus, um, with the, uh, sorry, the Hierophant, this would really tell me that you're attracting a person where it's like you have similar ideas about like, um, you know, what marriage looks like or what a connection looks like, or you have similar ideas about how a family should be and, you know, all that other stuff. So it seems to me like you two, you know, if you're attracting love, it's a person that's where you're on the same page. With the Empress, you have the Five of Swords. Yes, are you kidding? Like you can, look at this. Uh, Emperor, Five of Swords. Empress, Five of Swords. I'm getting a million things here. Number one, I feel like you could be attracting a person who has been through something very similar to you. So you could be attracting someone who has had similar breakups and similar situations. I kind of feel like this is actually a good thing because it's like, they're not gonna do this, do it to you. <laughs> you know, They know what it feels like and vice versa as well. So I feel that. I feel like you're both gonna have to take a risk on each other, you know, cause it looks to me like you've both been hurt. So you could be attracting someone where, you know, you've both been through some pain and now you're kind of like attracting each other and you're both have like healing from it. I also feel that for you, that for you, that you have to take some sort of risk to, um, you know, be more successful. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Three of Pentacles. This could be the risk of working together with another person. You know, it could be the risk of starting a business and needing to work together with someone. And you know, it's like maybe you have had bad experiences within that in the past. Three of Pentacles is also a card of quality work. Uh, I'm telling you right now, I feel like your earnings are going to go up in 2024 in general. I know that this is a um, you know, I know that this is a January reading here, but it looks to me like whatever you're working on, 
is going to lead to a lot more success. Um, I, I feel like your quality is going to speak for itself. Like whatever whatever it is you produce work wise, um, your quality is going to speak for itself. I feel like you're finding like new ways to make money with the work that you do as well. Um, so again, you, you have that card that says beating a dead horse. It, it almost looks to me like this reading is saying that there are other better ways for you to make money. And I would like tap into those ideas. You have this uh, Will o' the Wisps. It says treasure hidden in the shadows. You have this vision quest card. It's it's crazy to me that I literally said to, I think it was Aquarius, I said that they need to go on a vision quest. And it's like coming up for you, which is really weird as well. Um, and I didn't even know that this card was going to come up. So really crazy. But you know anything you could do to practice visualization would be a good idea. I also th- feel that there's like, you know, I think that you are maybe or have been underselling yourself, like, you know, your potential, like you right now, you're at a certain level, maybe you feel that that is the potential that you have in life. And I feel like this right here, for whatever reason, is the universe is saying like, no, your potential is unlimited. There's a lot that you could do in your life right now, but you have to go and do it. So, you know, I definitely feel it's time for you to step into your like true power. I feel it's time for you to uh, exceed your own expectations and do more than what you do right now. So there you go. <laughs> you have the nine of cups, three of cups in the Hierophant. Uh, the nine of cups is a celebration or, you know, uh, sorry, the three of cups is a celebration. Nine of cups is wish or wish fulfillment. Nine of cups is about acting as if as well. So I think it would be a great time for you to act as if you have something or you already are something that you want to be, you know? And that's definitely what I would do here with the nine of cups is act as if. I think it's just that simple. Uh, you have the three of cups. Three of cups, of course, again, is a celebration. So I do feel like there could be a big celebration coming in for you here. Three Cups also encourages, you know, celebrating with your family. So obviously we have the holidays. Some of you could be doing that. Uh, I also feel that this could be like a reunion, but, you know, this is like a past life connection. So if you want love, I I don't think this is like an, uh, 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 you know, a past person. I think it could be a past life person that you are attracting into your life if you want love. Uh, you have the Hierophant here. So marriage, we definitely see clearly a bunch of marriage stuff here. You have the Hierophant twice. You have the Empress, the Emperor. I mean, really good stuff. You know, if you're already in a relationship, this could be very good. If you're already married, this could be very good as well. So, you know, it looks really, really good. Like power couple vibes, really, you know, uh, creating a lot of success between the two of you. Again, if you're getting into a relationship, this definitely, the whole entire reading gives me the vibes of being with a person where it's like you really lift each other up and create, you know, a successful connection. You have the... Um, uh, Six of Swords with that Nine of Cups. Six of Swords is moving on to calmer shores. It's a card of improvements. Like I said, I think 2024 is going to be a good year for you just in general. I know I know this is only a January reading, but really seems to me like you're, you have the Uncharted Sea card. The Six of Swords is going into Uncharted Territory, Uncharted Seas. I would definitely recommend exploring new ideas, things that you don't know about, stuff like that. With the Three of Cups, you have the Devil. The Devil is, um, you know, about, it could be a Capricorn coming in for you. It's normally a card of toxic energy, but really I feel it's coming up in the good stuff. So it's going to be good no matter what. You could be attracting a very, very good person. With the Hierophant, are you kidding? You have the Ten of Pentacles. Like, you, you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> you have the Ten of Pentacles twice here. Like I said, Ten of Pentacles is about building and leaving a legacy. So I feel like a lot of you could really be, um, you know, creating something really uh, powerful or successful in your life. You could be creating a lot of happiness and joy as well. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes of the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. You have this endurance card. Um, this is a card of not giving up. And so I feel a lot of you need to make sure that you don't give up on things that you're working towards. But I also feel you're attracting a person who doesn't give up. I feel like you're attracting a person who really puts in the work. You have this friendship card. Maybe you start as friends with a person. Kind of makes sense. There could be something about distance here as well. So some of you could be attracting a person at a distance, uncharted seas, travel, you know, and maybe you start as friends first and then you kind of go from there. Uh, but just in general, I think it's a great time for friends, getting so meeting new friends, getting support from friends, stuff like that. Three cups. Uh, next, you have this devotion card. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this, is my, this is my favorite love card in this deck. There's this bird over this dead bird. How cute is that? It's like till death do us part. You know, I feel like you're really attracting a person um, that is till death do us part. For some of you, for some of you, I feel like you already have this person in your life. You're already with a person, but if you're not, definitely. Uh, you know, there's like the sun and the moon here, and so you could be attracting a person who is different than your usual type. 
Uh, next, you have this adaptability card. Yeah, I would just keep being your typical Gemini flexible self. Um, you know, I think that looking at other ways of doing things, I, I, I feel like people should get ahead of the energy. Like I've been trying to figure this out for a couple weeks, right? <laughs> it's like for the past like six months, I've been getting these readings about flexibility or longer for the past like year. Um, you know, we had those eclip that eclipse back in uh, last year in Taurus. And, you know, I was saying in that, in that, um, those readings I did for the Taurus eclipse, go look for them. But, um, I was saying that everyone needs to be super flexible. So, but I think we can get ahead of the energy. Like, as in, if you're starting something new, I don't even think it's about having a plan B. Like your plan A should be the accomplishment of the goal, right? But you should have, have multiple ways to, to accomplish the goal, staying flexible. I feel that'll be very helpful. And uh, finally, you have this companionship card. Yep, definitely attracting a true companion. I'm telling you right now, amazing love reading if you want love. Even if you don't want love, you could be attracting like a business partner, uh, someone who helps you in business or career or whatever. Looks amazing. Uh, I love this reading. I think the main message here is to step into the unknown, to do things that you, to learn about what you don't know about. And uh, that'll lead to a lot of success, but it looks amazing. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.